Many folk may not have felt the earthquake that occurred when Sir Philip Rutnam, the erstwhile permanent secretary of the Home Office, faced the cameras on Saturday and read a statement saying he intended to sue the government for constructive dismissal. Take my word for it, though, the political plates have shifted. I know something of what goes on in the Home Office after a spell in the department's press office between 2009 and 2011, where I worked under three Home Secretaries, Jackie Smith, Alan Johnson and Theresa May a litany of mostly scary, overconfident and or inept special advisors, so-called spads, and bands of long-suffering civil servants. My job, which often added up to little more than defending indefensible policies on immigration and policing, was monumentally grim, and since the Marsham Street headquarters in London was a miserable place to work, I didn't stay long. I certainly recognized the shouting and swearing belittling people, making unreasonable and repeated demands that Sir Philip referred to in his statement from the days of Mrs. May's notorious enforcers, Fiona Hill and Nick Timothy. But things must have become much, much worse under the current administration for the department's most senior Mandarin to make such personal allegations of bullying against current Home Secretary Preeti Patel, which she denies, and enter into a legal battle with the government. The viscous and orchestrated personal campaign Sir Philip alleges Ms. Patel waged against him clearly contributed to his decision to go public. But even that doesn't fully explain his unprecedented actions. Obviously, it's not unusual for there to be clashes between ministers and senior civil servants, sometimes even complete relationship breakdowns that damage the work of the department. But when really serious spats occur at the heart of government, usually the senior civil servant accepts they will either be moved to another job or handed a generous retirement package. Sir Philip was reportedly offered the latter and could already be quietly sipping malt whiskey, albeit with a grimace on his face, in a private members club in St. James Park. That's why it's all the more extraordinary that Sir Philip, who embodies the stable, rather dull play the game career civil servant, is choosing to wash his dirty linen in public. It suggests he feels it necessary to bring Ms. Patel down, if he wins his case, she will almost certainly have to resign. Just as unexpected as his wish for a very public forum in which to do it. I suspect this goes far beyond the personal, however. Sir Philip suggested as much when he referred to a wider pattern of government behavior. Indeed, I also suspect he may wish to reveal an increasingly widespread and dangerous culture of politicization in the civil service, a deliberate blurring of the lines that persuade for more on this story, visit the news article link.